Welcome to the Russell Brown Show and this tutorial that's all about stitching multiple images together and in this case I took these images with a DJI Phantom Quadcopter and my GoPro Hero 3. I'm going to stitch all of them together and I want the results to look like this. However, if I zoom in on this you'll see a common problem that happens when you stitch things together, especially in this case when the quadcopter is fighting against some really strong winds and the horizon is jumping around a little bit. Even though I've stabilized the flight with a gimbal, there's a little bit of variation in the position of the actual quadcopter in space relative to the horizon. So when you stitch it together, you get a little bit of variation on the horizon and you want to be able to fix that easily and quickly. Let's give this a try. Targeting my layer right here, I'm going to go over here to my marquee tool as you see here and select that. Then I'm going to go up to my menu here in my options bar and I'm going to give it a little bit of feathering before I create the selection. So I'm putting in a value of 1 as you see here. Now I'm going to go in and draw in my new horizon. Over here on the left it looks pretty good. I'm going to click and drag here to the right. I notice my position isn't quite accurate, so I'm going to hold down the spacebar key while I'm still selecting my marquee and I can shift my selection up just slightly. It's a really great tip and technique. I then let go of the spacebar key and continue to drag to the right. I want to line up the edges here on the left and the right with the horizon. You can see the variation in the horizon it rises up and it drops down below my selection. I'm now going to make sure I have a really large selection here into the sky, just like that. Okay, here's the secret. Once I have this selection I want to use this as a mask to help me identify the perfect horizontal line across the horizon. I'm now going to go up to the filter menu and down to liquify. Now because I have a selection it's going to create an automatic mask. Check this out. You can see here that it's isolating the area that I want to work on and not showing me anything else. And there's this invisible mask at play. I'm going to bring the size of my brush up because I like to have a nice large brush for a project like this. And my goal of course is to straighten the horizon with the liquify tool. I'm using the closed bracket on my keyboard to bring this up in size and I'll show you why I have it at such a large size. I'm not going to click here in the middle. It's too extreme in the middle. I'm actually going to go more toward the edges right here. I'm going to click and pull down. I can also go to the other side of the selection and click and pull down. It's a much softer way to bring this area down and it gives the least amount of overall distortion to all the pixels you're selecting. And as you can see here I'm going through and I'm adjusting the horizon here above the selection to bring it down to the line. The great thing about this selected region is that it's going to define this edge to be extremely accurate. And notice I'm going through and I'm just pulling this edge down. I'm using this spacebar key to get my hand tool to slide over here to the right. Look for any area that seems to come above the horizon and make an adjustment. One more adjustment there. Then let's click OK. We've made all of the adjustments above that line. Now I notice over here if I zoom in that there's also a problem here that goes below the line. I'm now going to inverse my selection from the select menu down to inverse right here. So I've switched it so that it's now selecting the lower portion and not this upper portion and once again we go back up to the filter menu and liquify. Now check this out. The mask is now protecting the area here and not down below here. So let's reduce the size of our brush, in this case with the open bracket key on my keyboard, to about that size. Zoom in really close and you can see this area here. 
Let's then push this up. And notice once again, I'm using the edges of my selected brush instead of the center. If I use the center, it's a little too extreme. And this way I can do subtle adjustments to bring this right up to the edge. And notice how that mask is protecting that edge and I push things right into the mask, just like that. That looks great. Let's now click OK. Let's hide our selection with Command or Control H. Zoom back out. And we've done a really nice job to straighten up our horizon. If I saw any imperfections, of course, I still have my selection because if I select Command or Control H, I can see that selection. I would go back in and make any additional adjustments I needed to make until I had the perfect really nice straight horizon for a project like this. And it really makes your projects look great, especially with a really wide angle lens. Sometimes you have a little bit of arc to the horizon or little imperfections in the horizon that you can fix with this technique. Give it a try.